Minsk is the only binding legal treaty that we have where Russia is actually recognizing uh, Ukrainian sovereignty. So I, I think this is a very important uh, point to make. Uh, and that is also why um, still today, uh, nations, uh, Germany, France, United States are trying to uh, save Minsk and to implement the points that were agreed uh, back then. The main purpose of Minsk, first of all, is really about stopping uh, military actions. The main point of Minsk is mostly about ceasefires. That, that is a very uh, important aspect of Minsk. Unfortunately, these ceasefires we see have never really been fully implemented. Now, Minsk is now being revived. Why? Um, Minsk would basically offer a uh, solution to de-escalate the Russian military buildup that we see now happening uh, in, in around, around Ukraine. Uh, it would basically be a tool for peace and making sure that Russia um, gets some sort of agreement on, on, on the future uh, of, of, of Ukraine and the Donbas region, and hopefully that Russia would accept these principles as a way forward towards peace. I think what Russia is seeking through the Minsk uh, agreements is to de facto turn the Donbas region into an autonomous region that will remain under the Ukrainian state. But uh, if elections would be organized uh, in that region, it is very likely that a pro-Russian politician would be elected. Um, and, you know, this would make sure that de facto, even though Donbass is in Ukraine, that de facto Donbass uh, is reoriented towards Russia. Um, and this is where Russia and Ukraine disagree. Russia is pushing for such election, but Kiev doesn't want to do, doesn't want to allow this, knowing very well, first of all, that there's no ceasefire in place. Look, even if there is some outcome in Minsk, uh, I, what I fear the most is that right now there's 150,000 Russian soldiers along the, the, along the borders of Ukraine. Putin cannot just now go home and say, well, you know, I deployed this massive force and I will not do anything. Um, I think that uh, the, the risk here is that things have escalated so far, so far that um, it will be very hard now for Russia to back off, to back out. So even though if a concession is being made, some sort of diplomatic agreement with uh, Moscow, I still fear that the escalation is so far that you know, Putin will still think that I must uh, do something from the military perspective in order to please his domestic audience. 